To our other big story now tonight, Nebraskans will have the chance to chart the state's course on abortion access on their ballots next week. One initiative would roll back the current 12-week ban, and the other would put that existing ban into the state's constitution. We know some people have already voted, but we wanted to zoom in on this major crossroads. This is the next part in our series this week, discussing the issues you have the chance to weigh in on. 1011's John Grinvalds is live in the newsroom to break down Initiative 439. Yeah, Madison Cole, that's right. Nebraska is following in the footsteps of several other states in putting the issue of abortion directly to voters. But here, there are two ballot measures, 439, what we're talking about today, and 434. Since they're separate, they can technically both pass. The victor in that case would be the initiative that scores more votes. It's an extraordinary fork in the road, making Nebraska unique across the country. Certainly the first time in, the, in modern history, but uh, we're not aware of any occasion before where two initiatives have been put forward to the voters that are in conflict. The campaign behind 439, Protect Our Rights, turned in more than 200,000 signatures, something its director says shows popular support across the state. It's just to remove government interference um, and let you know, doctors make decisions um, in consultation with a woman because um, it's really just not a space that we need politicians in. 439 would expand access up to the point of fetal viability as determined by a patient's health care practitioner, but generally considered to be about 24 weeks. It also allows access any time for the life or health of the patient. At a public hearing for the initiative, supporters and opponents weighed in. There's a lot of talk about women's rights when proponents of 439 speak. However, have these proponents considered that half of the aborted babies are female these are women. What about her rights? I caught up with proponents canvassing for the cause who said that this current 12 week ban passed last year doesn't work. I personally was a woman who ended up miscarrying at 16 and a half weeks and I started to miscarry and I was sent home and had to wait until I was hemorrhaging and almost dead before I had to come back. Um, and so I know the type of impact that it has on women from a personal standpoint. 39 is the last thing you'll be seeing on your ballot. You can find the exact language on our website's election guide. Tomorrow, we'll hear more about Measure 434, which would keep the current abortion ban in place. Reporting in the newsroom, John Grinvolts, 1011 News. Certainly a hot topic. John, thanks so much for that report.